So recently I've spent some time redesigning the mouth parts for Hannah's head. I'm using seven motors now instead of three. One lower lip motor, two upper lip motors, and four cheek motors. The lower lip is the same as before, although I had to move the motor centrally. I had to make room for the upper lip motors here. And I had to completely redesign the jaw to make space for all the cheek motors. So for the cheek, I'm using a 5 bar linkage. I haven't designed a place for a motor to actually open the jaw yet, but this is the range it should have when I get around to it. This mechanism is going to be a lot better than the spools I was using before with both X and Y axis motion. And hopefully it will all come together like this. So I've printed this out already once or twice and made some changes. I still need to add an eighth motor to open the jaw itself, and I need to work out how I want to connect all of this to the silicone lips. I've got some ideas about how I want to do that though. Uh, let's take a look at the physical models now. All right, so here's a cross section of the face I've been working on. Um, bit of a redesign of the bottom lip. Moved it to the center, whereas before I had it off to the side. Uh, I don't have the mechanism in here right now. Some small redesigns I still have to do, but it's basically all the same. Got the uh, upper lip motors in here. Again, I don't have the full linkage in here, but I'm still trying to fiddle around with the, the placement here. A few issues with clearance, with the... Uh, the, uh, the eyeball mechanism in here, so when these things are rotating, they're maybe a little bit too close to the eyes. They might be interfering. And over here, the cheek mechanism. It's working pretty well, I think. Everything seems to be in place. It's moving with the, the jaw opening. I'm worried about the thickness of this here sticking out too much this way. I mean, the silicone only goes... It's only so thick. There's only so much room that this can stick out. So I think there's going to be a lot of uh, iteration on this area here. And then I got to connect the whole thing around, probably with some TPU part I'll print out. But I'm going to worry about getting all this stuff working mechanically first. So I've been working on a bit of a kit design, I suppose. These are all the parts to put the whole thing together, all printed out in a box. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I was kind of curious just how many parts there were and how much space that takes up. If I was going to ship them out or sell them or something like that. Because I don't have any of that really itemized properly. This is a bit of an older design still. So it's got space for the earlier three motor mouth. So it's got like spools over here for lifting the corners of the mouth. Oh yeah, so with the top of the head here, yeah, let me put this down. Pardon my camera work here. So this is a current design for the top of the head. Uh, let me see over here. Here's an earlier design. So what I've done here is on the underside, I've made space 
for a number of different parts so that one of these uh, Raspberry Pi devices with one of these AI hats on it and a camera can be fit in here and it should screw in place right there camera can go right up to the front and screw in place and any of the power or data cables that you'd want to be running out of here can be run out of this channel and back to the to the back of the head and conveniently all the USB ports are sticking out of the back of the head too so that seems interesting I don't know what I'm gonna do with that though Okay, let's see if I can get some of these motors moving here. I don't really have enough hands to do all this at once. I don't really want to program this. So I'm just using one of these uh, manual controls at the moment. It's perfectly fine for testing. It seems good.